Agradecer al patronato Sabores por aceptar como país invitado a la región de Kurdistán. Hannah Jav is a young Mexican politician. Hannah's story is one of success. In Mexico, she's the deputy secretary for migration at the ruling party PRI, or the Institutional Revolutionary Party. She's also the president and founder of the Jav Foundation for Education. In America, she finished her studies at Harvard and Columbia, two of the world's best universities. It's a pleasure having you, Hannah Jaff, uh, talking to Rudao. When I was in the U.S., I went to Harvard University and I went to Columbia University. And in San Diego, I studied in, in National University of San Diego. I studied political science. I studied international relations, criminal justice, French, and child psychology. I mean, it's really very impressive. You're just 26 years old and you have already achieved so much. You've gone to Harvard, Columbia, and uh, now you are the Undersecretary for Migration in Mexico. I'd like to move from uh, your personal uh, personal affairs to your professional affairs a little bit. Uh, Hannah, you have also a foundation, Jeff Foundation. Can you tell us a little bit about that, yes. what the work of that foundation is? Yes. I started this foundation when I got to Mexico in June, June 4th, and I education has always been a priority to me. Thank you to my father. My father always, since I'm a child, always said your, your education is your priority. That's why I went to Harvard. That's why I went to La Sorbonne. That's why I went to Calari Columbia. Father. Yes, my Calari father. <laughs> and he always pushed me. And when I got to Mexico, I saw the level of education, and I really wished to improve it. And I and I have just by knocking doors, letting people like yourself know about my 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 vision and my my goals here. There has been a numerous amount of people that have that supported me. So we have gone around all. So is this foundation? Sorry for interrupting. Is it just a Mexican a national foundation in Mexico? Yeah. Is it or is it global? We would like to start here in Mexico. And this is the first ever festival in Latin America. Yes. Can you talk about a little bit about yes. that? It's in the uh, state of Morelos. Morelos Why did you choose that? This festival is called Sabores Morelos. They do it every year. They choose a country of, of honor. And this year I was very insistent and they chose Kurdistan. But Kurdistan is not even a country. I know. How could you like convince I them that you have to have Kurdistan as a country represented in the festival? I, I promoted it like the region, the government, the KRG. And they were very, whenever I, I, I tell Mexicans here that I am a Kurdish heritage, they always want to know more, like where is it, uh, what is the food, what is the language, what is the religion, what is the sports, what is everything. So I said, give me an opportunity and you're, to promote uh, Kurdistan in Mexico. And there are not many Kurds in Mexico, right? No, there are, well, I went to the Iraqi embassy and they told me that there are 40 Iraqis in Mexico. 40, 40. Zero. Zero. In Four the zero. whole state? Yes. Yes. In the whole country, I mean. And only, <laughs> I think, uh, Kurds, I don't know. Yes. 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 So uh, what is the, uh, I want you to talk a little bit more about the festival okay. and what is it about? Is it an art festival or is it just? It is a food festival originally and we, but what I, this is going to last for four days, so October 17th to the 20th. And those four days I am going, I am dedicated to promote Kurdistan to Mexico. I want everybody to know when they hear Kurdistan, they know everything. Like, we are expected to hear, to receive 80,000 people that will come to festival because in the last five years, that's how many people have gone to the festival in the past. So we are, are organizing a series of conferences and those conferences will, 90, peop, 90 Kurds around the world are going to come to Mexico to support my festival. So, and I'm very happy and honored that so many people helped me. And everybody that wrote to me said, can I give the speech on politics? Can I give the speech on Kurdistan today? Can I give the speech on Kurdish history or women leaders? Or and I, and I made an agenda and an itinerary. And for those four days, there will be the explanation of everything that is Kurdistan. The food, the dancing, music, uh, history, politics everything, culture, traditions, everything. So uh, we were talking about the f uh, foundation and your recent work at the, uh, the, at the festival, that you're organizing this festival, but you are involved in an, a lot of other work, like you have a center to fight uh, children cancer, right? Yes. Can you talk about that? Is it also just in Mexico or is it global? It's in Mexico. Well, I was a member of, I'm, since I, ch I studied child psychology, I was a psychopediatrician at the Castro Limon Hospital in Baja California, which is in Tijuana. So, my, my goal in life is to improve the quality of life 
Mexico, Kurdistan, US, anywhere. And when I was there, we, I would give therapy to cancer patients. And it was very, it was, it was something like an eye opener because so many children, so positive, so happy that just someone that like me volunteers and go to, to give them 10 minutes of your life, it would change their life. There was numerous success stories that I was, that it increased my love for God and faith in God and so many people that are so desperate for just attention, for just giving them a lesson, an uh, English lesson. And that was one of the reasons why I wanted to start my own foundation. That, that facility is only in Tijuana, but I wanted to take that nationwide. What do you think are the drivers behind the booming tourism in Mexico? The drivers for the booming tourism in Mexico would be the beaches, the hotels here, the spectacular forests, the food here, the, the, the history here, the pyramids here. There are there's numerous lists. I'd like to ask you a few questions about Kurdistan. Do you listen to Kurdish music? Yes, I do. Who's your favorite Kurdish singer? Dashne Munat. What's, uh, what song specifically? Kurdistan. You have to sing a little bit. No, I don't know Let's it. sing a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know it, but... I will use her music for the Kurdish festival. In the festival yes, in the, festival. the state of Morales. Yes. Uh, is she going to be present personally or just... Uh, no, I wish, but no. I tried, I tried uh, to get as many Kurds to come to support me and uh, only 90 will come, which is for me, I'm happy. I think Dashne would love it that you're saying that I hope you're, you, you are her fan. <laughs> I'm her fan. <laughs> Hanaja, thank you so much for talking to Ruda. I really appreciate it your background, your strong comments about all sorts of issues from culture to politics.